going to stay strong. We're going to continue to, to move forward. And there are forces of evil, but the, the forces that are for us, the forces of God are stronger than that. Thank you for joining us here on News Nation Prime. I'm Natasha Zuvess, and we do start with that breaking news out of Houston, Texas. A woman entering Lakewood Church owned by televangelist Joel Osteen, who you just heard from there. The woman accompanied by a small child holding a long rifle and opening fire today. According to law enforcement, the shooter is down. News Nation's Kelsey Kernstein monitoring the breaking details. Kelsey, what are we learning here? You know, Natasha, there still are a lot of questions at this hour, but right now we can tell you that law enforcement is going through the Lakewood Church. They're trying to make sure that this was an isolated incident. Now, we do know that two were hurt. This includes a five-year-old child, but we also know that the shooter has been killed. This is a light, uh, an isolated incident, we believe, at this moment, okay? Uh, no farther danger to uh, our public, but we're just at the beginning. It's still an active scene, so uh, I don't want to talk about her motivations because I don't know right, you know, and we may never know the full story. So here's what we know happened so far from police, that they say it happened around 2 in the afternoon. This took place at Joe Olstein's mega church in Houston, Texas. They say that a 30 to 35-year-old woman entered the Lakewood church. She was wearing a trench coat. She had a backpack and a long rifle and began opening fire. Also very important to note here, she was also accompanied by a 5-year-old child. Now the two police officers working at the church were able to then take the woman down. But once she went down, the shooter then threatened she had a bomb. Now, investigators then searched her backpack and her car. They found no bombs, but police say she was also spraying some type of substance as well. It could have been a lot worse. Of course, we're devastated. I mean, this is, we've been here 65 years and have somebody shooting in your church. But, you know, we don't understand why all these things happen, but we know God's in control, and we're going to pray for that little five-year-old boy and pray for the lady that was deceased, her family and all, and, and the other gentlemen. Police do say that the five-year-old who was accompanied by the woman was also shot in the chaos. We do know that he is in critical condition at this time. A 57-year-old man was also shot in the hip, and he is stable, was also taken to a local hospital. Now, we also know that this happened in between services, Natasha, right before a Spanish-language service at the church. Uh, an estimated 45,000 people attend this church each, each week. It is the third largest in the U.S., and law enforcement are continuing to investigate this. They're calling this an open investigation. Natasha. Okay, Kelsey Kernstein with those breaking details. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.